Hello everyone. Today's lesson is going to uh, be about chapter 7, section 3, which is equilibrium of acids and bases and salts. Uh, I hope you are having a great time. Uh, keep up with the good work and stay safe at your homes. Now, the first thing that we are going to talk about is ionization constant of a weak acid. Weak acids have uh, reversible reactions, uh, as we have studied before in chapter 2 and 3. Uh, that uh, when we talked about ionization we said some molecules uh, such as weak acids ionize partially to become ions and uh, some of the acid remain or sometimes most of the acid remain as molecules so if uh, the ionization is very low it means that the reaction is reversible and um, it will ionize partially and it will reach at equilibrium it will reach equilibrium at a certain point now for example we have uh, acetic acid here, uh, sorry about that, we have acetic acid here, acetic acid is a weak acid, it will ionize only 1.3 of the acid becomes ions and at 0.1 molar uh, concentration and 98.7% of the acetic acid uh, remains as molecules which is a lot of the molecules compared to the ions. So only a small amount of ions are produced uh, during this ionization. Now, uh, if you want to write K, which is uh, equilibrium constant for a weak acid, as we have studied before, K is a general uh, term for all the reversible reactions which we can determine the amount of product compared to the ratio uh, of the amount of uh, reactants. Uh, so that will give us a ratio between them which one is higher which one is lower as we have studied in uh, section uh, one but uh, for weak acids we have there are a couple of things that we have to change for example since h2o can be accounted as a constant number and it's the solvent and it, the concentration of h2o cannot be changed compared to the concentration of the ions and the molecules of the acid so we can take out the h2o out of the equation of k when we take H2 out of the equation, it will be written with the K. And this K times H2O will be equal to the concentration of hydronium times concentration of acetate over the concentration of the acid itself, or which is acetic acid. But as you can see, every time writing this K times H2O may be a little bit, of con um, a little bit confusing. That's why they have come up with another solution. They have changed this K times H2O to Ka. So from now on, for every acid, we can name their K, which is the equilibrium constant, as Ka. But Ka for acid is called acid ionization constant. Uh, so what is the acid ionization constant? The acid ionization constant, Ka, is just like equilibrium constant, but as we said, it's just for acids. And what does that Ka tell us? The lower the Ka, the lower the Ka, the weaker the acid, and the higher the Ka, the stronger the acid. The same thing can be said about bases. For example, here we have uh, ammonia base. So ammonia is NH3. When it reacts with H2O, it ionizes partially to become NH4 and hydroxide. So at this time, instead of saying Ka, we can say Kb, and that's the base ionization constant. Bear in mind with that name, base ionization, ionization constant. The same thing can be said about, about Kb. The lower Kb, the weaker the base. Why? Because, pay attention to this Kb, which the H2O has been taken out, and we get Kb. Uh, so also Kb is equal to K times H2O but for bases while Ka is also K times H2O but for acids. So if Kb is low, what does that tell us? According to a mathematical relation, it means that the numerator is very low. And what is the numerator? Which is the product. So if product is low, it means that the base hasn't ionized a lot. Not a lot of ions have been produced. So the base is weak most of the molecules have remained uh, or most of the base have uh, uh, has remained as uh, molecules so this is the acid ionization constant 
and base ionization constant now let's get to another subject which is buffers what is a buffer a buffer is a solution that can resist pH change it's a solution if prepared after putting after the preparation if some amount of acid of some amount of base is added to the buffer solution that buffer solution will resist pH change and it will not let the H3O when acid is added or the base which is OH to affect the so pH of the solution this is useful for many uh, experiments in chemistry even in biology uh, for example in biology we can talk about blood for example blood itself is a buffer solution uh, when uh, a small amount of acid or base uh, is added to blood the pH of blood would not will not change and it will remain constant but we, the thing that we are talking about here is only a small amount of acid or bases so we have two types of buffers first type of buffer if the buffer is uh, produced from or formed from weak acid and its salt for every solution of buffer there must be a weak acid and a salt with a common ion so actually but the buffer is a weak acid and its common ion with some amount of common ion and the salt that is added that is used in a buffer solution with the weak acid is a basic salt so basic salt is only used in a buffer solution that is formed from weak acid now this is the solution of buffer here this is the solution of buffer which contains uh, the weak acid which is I have given you an example as HF uh, which is at uh, equilibrium it has formed a reversible reaction also the salt look at the salt the salt is formed from Na and F which is NaF the Na has come from a strong base the F has come from a weak acid that's why the salt is a basic salt now let's see the effect the response for this buffer when some amount of acid or some amount of base is added to the solution first let's add some amount of a small amount of acid to a buffer solution which is formed from weak acid and salt so the first one here now by adding h3o which is the small amount of acid we have added uh, the acid here Now H3O is increased by adding the acid. Now when H3O is increased, there must be something. The pH will change, but there must be a response so that the buffer can interact with this change and will not let the H3 or the S or the acid to change pH. Somehow the uh, reaction must change in a way where the uh, change uh, is resistive and pH remains constant. And that is by adding H3O, the amount of H3O in this solution will increase, so the reaction will shift in the reverse direction. When the reaction is shifted to the reverse direction, so that the amount of H3O that was added before will decrease again to its original amount because H3O will, shouldn't change. So, because if H3O changes, the pH will change. So, by that, what happens to HF, which is the uh, non ionized acid molecules it will increase the HF will increase now when HF increases and the reaction has shifted to the left side it means that ionization has decreased so as we said buffer will resist pH change so will there be a change in pH of course not it will not change this is the uh, response that is occurring uh, during the reaction what if a small amount of base is added to the solution so by adding base it means that you have added OH you have added hydroxide ion increasing hydroxide ion is inversely proportional with H3O if OH is increased it means that H3O will decrease why H3O will decrease here why because the H3O 
will react with the OH that has been added to the buffer. So this H2O is from the buffer. This H2O is from the buffer. So that has CR. So this H2O is from the buffer, and the OH reacts with the H2O to forming H2O. So the concentration of H2O is, is also decreased. But we don't we don't want that because we said we have added a buffer and the solution must remain at a pH that is constant. Then what happens? The buffer solution which contains HF and this reaction will have to react again, ionize again, to form the H3O that was lost in the process of adding OH. So more H3O must be produced again, again. Please be very careful. So when the H2O is added again, the uh, concentration of H3O becomes normal again, or it will uh, go back to its original uh, concentration. So what has happened here in, in this response? Binding the OH, it has reacted with the H2O, forming H2O. Then on, uh, on, uh, uh, the, the buffer has undergone more ionization to form the H2O that was lost in this reaction. So uh, ionization has increased. As you can see, the reaction has shifted to left, uh, to, to right, sorry, and what about the acid itself, HF? Since the uh, ionization has increased, then HF molecules must decrease. Will there be a change in pH? No, of course not, because we said we have added the buffer. The buffer will not let the reaction change its pH. So that was the first type of buffer. What about the second type of buffer? A buffer that is formed from weak base and its salt. Uh, again, they must have the, the weak base and the salt must have a common ion uh, and the salt must be acidic salt it's written here for example this is an example of uh, a weak base uh, buffer or a basic buffer uh, again let's see what happens if uh, some am amount of acid or base is added to this buffer uh, it's actually the same thing it the, has the same logic but uh, since the molecules and the examples are different that's why we have to very be very careful what is added to what what has happened in here uh, for example if some uh, a, a small amount of acid is added to this buffer this buffer uh, if the acid is added it means that we have added h h3o is increased <coughs> again since h3o is increased in this example we have oh exact opposite of the previous one that we talked about so the H3O that is increased will react with the OH. This is from the buffer. This OH is from the buffer. Uh, so the concentration of OH will decrease because it was neutralized by the H3O. So the concentration of OH when decreased, and we don't want that, so the buffer has to uh, compensate for the loss of, those of that OH. So the system has to ionize again. Ionization increases. What about the molecules? If ionization increases and the reaction shifts to the right, what happens to NH3? Of course, the concentration of NH3 will decrease, which is the uh, base molecules. And again, the, uh, there will not be any change in pH. Let's see. Uh, if a small amount of base is added to the solution. Now, this bear in mind that this solution, this buffer solution was basic. It already contains OH. So by adding another base, which is uh, adding OH, uh, hydroxide ion, the concentration of hydroxide ion will decrease, uh, sorry, will, will increase, and the reaction has to shift to the left. So ionization will have to decrease. Non-ionized molecules, which is NH3, has to increase here. It has to increase. Again, there will be no change in pH. So buffer action has many important applications, as we said, in chemistry and physio uh, physiology. Human blood, for example, as we mentioned before in the uh, beginning of this explanation. Uh, let's look at this question. If a base is added to a solution of weak base, this is the type of question that has been asked in ministry exam questions. You have to be very careful uh, what you read here. Uh, for example, if a base is added to a solution of weak base and its salt, uh, 
base is added to base so you have constant uh, increase the concentration of OH again inside the basic buffer because the buffer has been formed from weak base and salt and how do you know this question talks about buffer because it doesn't say anything about buffer look at here pay attention very carefully a base that's one one substance is added to weak base and salt when it says weak base and salt or uh, another two substances for example sometimes it's, it might say NH3 and NH4Cl since it talks about three uh, substances uh, uh, then you can directly know that it talks about buffer now but uh, by adding uh, ba a base like here to a basic buffer then the concentration of OH will, in, uh, will increase and the reaction will shift to the left uh, ionization decrease and then ionized molecules increase and let's see what is happening here the chloride ions uh, ion increases no more of the weak base ionizes now we said the reaction will shift to the left so ionization decreases so that's not the correct answer also see more hydroxide ions form we said you might think yes you have more hydroxide ions form in the response the hydroxide ion must decrease again because we are talking about pH change the pH shouldn't change so if OH is increased the pH will change more water and non-ionized base form and that's the correct answer because the non-ionized molecule will increase of course the, some H2O is also increased Now this is a summary for uh, buffer. Uh, this is for you so that you can easily solve more questions in uh, Wazare. For example, here uh, you can see uh, I have uh, classified the buffer into two parts according to the addition of the acid or bases. For example, if acid is added to a buffer that is formed from a weak acid or a salt, or, and it's salt of course, uh, when the acid is added to this type of buffer, or a base is added to weak base and it's salt so this is the buffer like uh, the, the same things have been added to the buffer itself for example if you have a uh, acidic buffer we have added an acid if it's a basic buffer we have added base now what happens these are the responses that I've written here this is just a summary you can uh, check this out even before exams this these are very important so the ionization will decrease non ionized molecules increase because the reaction will shift to the left and there will not be any change in the pH because you can see this is buffer and the exact opposite is also correct if acid is added to a basic buffer so it's a base a weak base and a salt or a base is added to weak acid and a salt ionization increases because the reaction will shift to the right non ionized molecules decrease and there will not be any change in pH of course so you can uh, take this very very carefully uh, and solve any question that you want like most of the questions in ministry exam uh, actually can be solved by this summary uh, alone